everybody had this this dream of going to jail, even me, like, I mean, I done been everywhere, nigga, Clinton Max, Elmira, Comstock, Southport, Kaksaki, Attica, when it was Attica, every time we turn the radio, it's jail, it's jail, like, get the fuck out of here, man. You know, these rappers and shit talk about jail, like, the niggas really been there. Half of these guys never been there, they ain't really did no bad, they don't know nothing about none of this shit. Rap about jail in real time, you know what I mean? I speak to niggas in jail. If I didn't go to jail, I wouldn't be speaking on trying uh, trying to go there. Like, this, it's one of the worst places you'll want to go. I don't wish that on nobody. I was at Elmira, right? And uh, police beat the shit out of a prisoner from 12.30 at night to damn near 6 o'clock in the morning. And they strip searching you, they strip searching ladies. And I'd rather see you in the street and get it on before I, I'd rather wish you jail for life. And we became the first predicates on Rikers Island. With Pappy and all of them, with them. I was there with Larry Davis and shit like that. I used to throw piss and shit at Larry Davis. You know what I'm saying? I used to have beef with that nigga. Cause from that point, it was a big riot. Like, after that, it was it became a racial riot. Blacks and, you know, against the Spanish and shit like that. I was in a riot in Groveland. Three people died in that riot. It was Spanish against Muslims and um, five percenters. Yeah, this raise I had my raise, so I know what it feels like. But I'm neutral. I'm not down with no gang members. I ain't no Latin king, no nieta, no nothing. You ain't gotta be down with no gang. Like, you just gotta be mentally strong, man. You gotta be you, man. When you down with a gang, your same gang members are the same guys that cut you first and send you to the hole and flip on you. Right. And there's no loyalty, there's no loyalty, there's no nothing. People cross you. Brothers gotta stay true to themselves. You can't be perpetrating the fraud. That's the shit that gets you fucked up when you start fronting like this. Like you that nigga and you ain't that nigga. I've seen the worst of the worst in the feds. Booty bandage, sneak thieving, and snitching. Them the three shits that's gonna get you mashed out of the pen. I was taking a shower right here. The nigga he picked up toilet over there and started jerking off. I came up, chased him, stabbed him about eight times. I, I ain't even feel it. I ain't even know I stabbed him. I was just hitting him, but I ain't feel it. You know, I like to call it survival, you know what I'm saying? Where we come from, we don't have much. So a lot of cats get caught up in, in trying to survive, you know? Anybody that think about going to jail or wilding out in the street and going to jail and think that jail is cool and at the end of the day you're gonna pay for everything that you get yourself involved in. It breaks families. You go to jail, jail is basically break families. Jail is inevitable when you live in the street life, man. You can't sugarcoat that shit. Cause these little niggas is real now. You gotta tell them like it is. Hey, you already know tell from the pen. But what made it worse every first it's a pack ties. Little brother knowing life illegal. No toys, just playing with pipes and needles.